Hello out there, this is Desiran, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. Okay, we're getting back into this. Where did we leave off? Here it was, K. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> not quite as much. K is... Uh, K is difficult to use, to say the least. Okay, well, we might as well search where we are. Oh, God, don't tell me. Please don't. 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 Ginger key. Ginger pattern has been carved into the old key. Could this be to key the key to Mio's cell? <laughs> Shit! Okay. Oh. Type 61 fit. Why is it K is finding all the high co- Oh. Is that how they're making up for his poor capabilities and poor camera? They're giving him good film? I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay. At least we found some strong film. Oh boy. Okay, we have one key. Hi. Hi. Oh god. Oh god. Oh boy. She's walking away. She's walking away. Okay. Stay quiet. Stay quiet. Yep, I'm sure it does. I think I just got lucky as all hell that I didn't... On the door, there's an old lock with a ginger image carved onto it. Ginger key. I... I don't want to go in this door yet. Oh, God. Oh... Okay, I'm gonna go back to where the butterflies were. Oh god, is she just gonna constantly be wandering? God, is she coming this way? I don't know where she is. Please just walk by. If you're there, please just walk by. She is close. Oh god, there she is. Please tell me she doesn't see me. She... She doesn't seem to see me. Oh, thank god she doesn't see me. Okay. Okay. Careful. I wish I could turn the flashlight off. Across here. Okay. Wait, what's even over here? Oh. Oh. Dirt floor hallway. Right. This room. Wait, what? 
Where the... Oh, right. In the dream, the rooms are messed up. I forgot. Manor of Sleep, first floor, book storeroom. Okay, no, I'm going back. Uh-oh. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Run, 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 run. Okay. We're, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go in here. Oh God. Oh God. Where are we now? All God's Village Twins Room. Sacred Water. Okay, that's nice. Oh, God. I am... Oh. I am really creeped out as K. Some things reflecting. Sunlight key. Okay, that's one key. Is that a dark shadow key? There we go. Now that's those are the keys to Mio Hell. Uh oh. Okay. These are the keys to Mio's cell. They have to be. Okay. So now I just have to get around um, her. Okay. Wait, what's this door down here? Pinwheel like stone slate. Oh. Right, it's another locked door. Yeah. Door is tightly sealed. I remember the pinwheel puzzles. Okay. What was that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! Uh-oh! She sees me. She sees me! Run, man, run! Oh, not that way. Uh, this way. Yeah, run, 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 run. Run. Get through the door. Get through the door. There we go. Oh, dear God. Okay. Mio cells right here. But do I go back this early? I mean, I really should look around. But then again, I have the keys, so... Uh, I'm not sure what I should be doing. Okay. Going to try and free Mio and see what happens. Before going back. Uh oh. That's bad. Oh god. I can't open the door. Get off of me. Go. Oh. Can I open this door? Nope. I'm stuck. Oh, crap. Where is my medicine? Uh, used to. Flee! Flee! For the love of God, man, flee! Okay. 
Where is he? There he is. What? I can't... I can't actually take a picture of him? Am I not supposed to be able to get out? Is that it? Am I supposed to die or something here? Oh, crap. Well, I just made things worse. Oh! Butterfly guide my way! Holy crap! That was not exactly what I would call fair. Oh dear god. Can't see Mio inside the cell. There are no signs of lock. Locks having been opened either. Perhaps she's behind the bookshelves inside the cell? Maybe. Oh god. I possibly shouldn't be doing this this early. There were three Buddha images in the line here, but one of them's fallen over. Beautiful kimono fabric. Oh, uh, what? What looks like an old lithograph stone is lying on top of an old writing desk. Pinwheel key. Pinwheel patterns carved into a round lithograph stone. I have found a part for the camera obscura. You've acquired upgraded lens zero. Zero? Damage slash slow. Sphere points near three. Damage increases. Use this to inflict more damage than a normal shot. Takes three spirit points. Use the L1 button to operate. Uses more spirit points than blast, but inflicts greater damage. Further, it has the same effect of slowing the ghost when it is repelled back. The higher your level, the more damage you inflict on the ghost. Okay. So, it's basically... Okay. So it's better slow, for one thing. Doll on desk. It belongs to someone who was once locked up in here. Sometimes I get the feeling it's looking at me. Probably is looking at you. Twin Shrine Maidens. The Twin Shrine Maidens. Twin Shrine Maidens are sacrificed in the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Boys are sometimes used as well. In this case, they are called Altar Twins. The people of this region believe that twins were once a single being, which was split into two at birth. The ceremony is based on the belief that when the two bodies are reunited as one, the Shrine Maiden will gain the power of a deity. The text says, the older sister must n blank the younger and throw her into the blank. The blank part must refer to the most horrible part of the ritual. Probably some kind of sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. If you've watched Fatal Frame 2, or played it, there's a line of what looks like investigation records. I tried to read what's written inside, but a lot of the content has been scored out and I can't make any sense of it. Crimson Sacrifice. The forbidden ritual passed on in this region Oh God, is called the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual and is apparently a ceremony where the gates of hell are sealed by sacrificing twin shrine maidens. There are two parts to the ritual. A periodic visible ritual, and in the event of its failure, a hidden ritual. Should all the rituals fail, the gates of hell will open, the dead will pour out, and the skies will go dark. This disaster is called the Repentance. This is a history lesson on part on uh, Fatal Frame 2, basically. Someone was doing some kind of research. Okay. Um, okay, so I have a pinwheel. I'm not sure which door it goes to, though. Probably that one. Okay. I'm gonna nut up. <laughs> and go back. Don't kill me. Are you not here anymore? Okay, you're not here anymore. 
Please don't kill me. Okay. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to go down here. Bookstore room. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to stay calm. What the... Oh, 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 here we go. An image of something's been caught on the photo. I'm trying to stay calm, but... To be honest, I feel horribly vulnerable as Kay. <laughs> That's actually an interesting thing they did for the series. I guess it makes some sense. Well, the Fatal Frame series has all these strong... Well, okay, maybe not... I'm trying to think the right way to put this. The Fatal Frame series is known for its female heroines. They might not be, like, the most badass... Oh, God! Hi. Can I actually beat this one? Maybe? Where? Where? Crap. Uh. Uh. Whoa! No! No, you don't. No! Please back off. Oh god. Okay. Okay. We're all right, Kay. Um. Camera. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'd say my best bet is to give him as most as much range as possible. That way I can keep them, get them from far back. Maybe. But then again, the best shots are up close, so... Oh, God. I don't know. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Slightly. I'm somewhat. I, I don't know. Okay, okay. What am I doing? Sorry if I seem a little off my game right now. It's just... Staircase broken, fall away. It doesn't look like I can get up from here. I'll have to look for another way up. Okay. Fine by me. What's through here? Sealed. Tightly sealed. Okay. So all that was really down here was that blind woman? Okay. At least the tattooed woman doesn't seem to be roaming here anymore. OK, 
Okay, let's try the front door. Okay, this actually works. So I can actually go out this way. What the hell? Looks like you can go outside from here. Do you want to go outside? No? Not yet, at least? What the hell is that? A lantern? Oh, God. I'm just here wondering where I should be going. Like, I know where the game wants me to go. Bring up the map. Okay, um... Okay, there's no other place in here. So, okay, yeah, we'll take a step outside and see if that's good or bad. If it'll actually let us go outside. It will. Oh, this could be bad. I don't want to be wandering around all God's village. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think that might have been bad. That might have been a bad thing to do. Uh, uh, oh, crap. I'm so tense right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First thing we'll do, develop film. Go develop film. We can do that. Ooh. I don't know what's with me tonight. Or today, I should say. Just feel a bit jumpy. I'm thinking I have to be getting closer to the end, but... It seems like I missed a lot. I mean, I might be wrong on that. I'm also worried about what ending I might get if there's more than one. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let's just develop the film then. Also, I'm hoping my audio isn't too off. Yeah, I mean, I did a couple sound checks, but not a hundred percent sure. Develop film. Oh. The fallen man from inside the closet of the main hall. Had he gone missing too? I wonder. Maybe now I have this photo. I can find something out about him. Okay. Okay, so what I'll do, first I'm going to check on Miku, then I'm going to check Yu's room, and see if anything's there. Then I will save, more than likely. And then immediately... Here you go, Ray. That picture of the woman resembles the one in this story, so I gathered some data on it. 
the crawling woman associated with disappearances and spirited ways there is an urban legend called the woman who crawls on all fours in close dark spaces like under the floor or in the ceiling or closet lurks a woman that crawls out every night cursing bitterly that's the gist of it many urban legends of this type are based in fiction novels etc and real incidents as the story spreads, images people fear are added, and it becomes all the more legendized. For example, the story, The Woman Who Crawls on All Fours, is said to be based on the following disaster that actually occurred years ago. One month after the disaster, a woman's corpse was found in a ditch several miles from the disaster site. Evidence showed she was alive up to a few hours before she was found. It is thought to be an exaggeration since the story became legendized, but several people who lived where the woman was found and along the route to the, the disaster site say they heard a knocking sound in the night. There is also another version of this story that has been passed on. The part about the woman lurking in the floor or the ceiling, seeking help every night, is the same, but in this one, the ending is that if you peer into the ceiling or floor, she will attack you. Thanks. Sorry for making you go all go to all this trouble. I'll hold on these for a bit. You added the crawling woman to your file. Here you go, Ray. I thought this might have some connection to that photo of those tattoos. Oh, this is a long one. Tattoo folklore. This combination of snake and holly in this tattoo is primarily found in northeastern Japan. This design is chronicled in the North old northeastern Japanese folk tale, Tattoo Maiden. Tattoo Maiden. A girl loses her lover, and before he fades from her memory completely, she takes the pain of her remaining love and imbues it in the holly tattoo. Yet the girl falls in love once more. Again, she loses her lover. She engraves a tattoo of her love into her body again. This time she engraves a divine snake, so her lover lover's spirit will arrive safely at the place of the gods. As the girl repeats love and loss, her skin grows filled with tattoos. She cannot tolerate the pain of the tattoos, and it takes its toll on her sanity. Meanwhile, her heart is eaten by the snake engraved in her soul. This legend is widely known on the plains, but deepening, but depending on the region, slight differences appear. In the mountains, the following changes can be found in the story. This is called the Tattoo Master. The Tattoo Master. The girl who lost her lover goes to the mountain master to relive relieve her pain to confide in her on hearing of the girl's pains the master engraves the snake and holly on her own body and assumes the pain the villagers hearing of this visit the master one after another to relieve their pains as well eventually the master's entire body is covered with tattoos she who took on so many pains gets trapped in sleep from the pain of the engraved tattoos and cannot wake finally she is eaten by the tattooed snake the story has one more version this was an this with an even more tragic ending. It is likely a story designed to teach a lesson. The Tattoo Master 2. The master covered in tattoos goes as far as to tattoo Holly in her eyes. Then her tattooed eyes turn to mirror, and the pains engraved on the master are repelled back to the people who engraved them. In the end, every last per person is eaten by the snake. The part about turning to mirror may come from how snakes' eyes were traditionally thought to resemble mirrors. Given the change in the story, it appears that when the Tattoo Master legend of the mountains spread to the plains, it became more fable-like. The story, with its priestess-like element of the Master, was corrupted into a city girl's foolish love story. As far as the meaning of the snake and holly tattoo in this folktale, the holly tree represents the pain of love for the dead and pains of the heart. The snake is employed here in the divine sense, and its import seems to be tied into love and pathos for the dead that devours those, including the girl and the master. Thanks, I'll hold on to it. Ask around at the hospital about this picture of Miss Takigawa. The clothes these people around Miss Takigawa are wearing in the picture. They look kind of like the clothes her family and lover were wearing. They were all riding in the same plane. I see. Thanks. You can ask me whatever you want, okay? Oh, boy. Things are getting more complicated. It's raining again. 
Okay. Let's try this from last time. I had to do this before. Leave, come back in. Just to see if she takes that other picture we developed. Miku? Lately, all I can think about is the past. Like back when I was a child. Mm. It's raining again. Okay. Oh boy. So many different things I need to consider here. So it seems like the idea behind the priestess is that she takes on she takes on the pains of others. There are typed and handwritten letters. In used document file, there's a newspaper in which a man who resembles the one in the photograph appears. Here we go. Land surveyors go missing. While conducting a geological survey for the planned Minakami Dam site, Masumi Miki Makimura, 26, entered the Minakami Mountains and then disappeared. Makimura's fiance, Miyako Sudo, went looking for him and disappeared similarly. As of yesterday, the search for them was called off, and construction of the Minakami Dam resumed. The Minakami Mountain area has historically had many cases of missing persons, as myths of spirited aways are popular in the area. This incident is also rumored to be one such spirited away. The police continue to call for provision of any information related to the disappearance of the two. After consult consultation with the relatives on both sides, they announced that they would be terminating the search. Oh, boy. So that's the boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, God. Uh, I don't think I want to go up there. Oh, God. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it briefly for you guys. Oh, don't let anything be up here. Nope, okay, nothing up here. Okay, leaving, leaving, leaving. Okay. Yep, so that's another reference to the second game. our notes real quick. Every time I dream of the house, the bruise, the tattoo, gets bigger. I found a picture of a similar tattoo in a book of folklore. A snake and holly pattern. Excuse me. According to an old folk tale, the tattoo represents the pain and longing of a girl whose lover has died. Like my longing for you. Yep. This is all about... The man who appeared in the photo is Masumi Makimura, who went missing three months ago near the Minakami Dam site. His fiancée went to look for him and never came back. Many people have gone missing like this in the Minakami area, and there are rumors that they have been spirited away. An even older house lies inside the Dream Manor. Down in the darkness beneath the floor, a woman on all fours attacked me. According to Miku, there is an urban legend about someone similar. It's apparently based on the true story of a woman trapped by disaster. Was she someone who had gone missing too? Like Yoshino Takigawa? It's possible. Okay. I'll go ahead and save here now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, uh, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And certainly share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for other games or on how I can improve my Let's Plays, please leave them in the comments below. 
or you can leave a comment on Facebook and or Twitter. I have links on my channel banner for that, and you can reach me there pretty easily. <sighs> and in the next part, we'll try to sleep, and um, more than likely we'll be going back to being K. And I'm going to try and go back inside. Hopefully that will work out. But we'll see what happens. Uh, until then, though, this is Desiran. You guys have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> uh.